Forgive my absence again. I want to start today uh, by saying that I am not deleting any of your comments. Uh, I had noticed some of you were saying that was happening. It's obvious that this system, the Satanist YouTube, whoever, this artificial intelligence, it's taken it upon itself to to filter out the real from the artificial and to try to clutter this channel with as much artificial as possible. I just want to say that I'm not doing any of that. I'm not cutting anyone off. I'm not deleting comments. I, I don't have time to be doing that anyways. I, I, I barely get a chance to get on here as it is. So I just had to express that just because it might seem like I'm actually doing something like that uh, to some of you, and that's not the case. The other thing I want to also mention, which kind of is the basis of what I want to bring up with today's message is the classroom going dark that should be or should have been obvious with the change of going dark with these messages I mean it's it has everything to do with my own situation that I'm in which is very real but the classroom was was gentle the lights were on it was a classroom where one felt they had all the time in the world to learn right so you could see the reflection of the symbol of all my works up to the declaration that's that's the classroom with the lights on and then everything else after that has been the classroom going dark and of course in a dark classroom, well, the lessons change. Everything changes. It's not just a symbol, it's it's a truth. My classroom is the street. It's a dark place. It's not a fun place to be. To be in a situation where, yeah, one doesn't have a home. And that's the thing, you know, a lot of, uh, whether they're real or artificial, you know, these comments that are trying to say that we all have a home here. Well, no one has a home here. Everyone is homeless. That is the point. This is hell. No one has a home in hell. You think that because you have a mortgage or an apartment or some place that you're renting or whatever, whatever your situation is, and I I have a home because I have this abode that I can go into. No, that's these are just temporary situations. These are just divisions and cuts of the system. It allows you to have a little doghouse, if you will, while you serve it on the surface level, which is truthfully called the heaven of hell, or the hell of heaven. That's the level playing field that we're on, as I already mentioned. So you're allowed your little doghouse during your stay here. No one has a home here. And it gets taken away from you. That's what death does. I've said this before. It is the truth. That can't be debated. Everything gets taken away from everyone at death. You are rendered with nothing. You are left with nothing. Death is not some great accomplishment. Something to look forward to. Death is not the escape. Death is not the grand finale. And then now you get to celebrate. Because you're going... To a better place once you reach it. That's not what happens. That's the deception. That needs to be understood thoroughly. 
Death will always try to convince you that death is a good thing. It's death that does that. It's the used car salesman selling you a piece of garbage shit that doesn't even run. And saying, oh, this is a great runner. It's fantastic. It'll get you far. Then he sells it to you and you go back to the parking lot where it's been sitting for 10 years just rusting out. You go to start it and there's nothing. The battery is even dead. There's just no juice left in that vehicle whatsoever. But he sold it to you as just this dream car. That's what this reality is. And that's its ruler, its regent, if you will. It's that used car salesman just always trying to sell you on this the idea of what this place has been turned into because it's still the heart that's why i call it beautiful because our great mother mother earth is providing it all but look at what this wrong idea does to our great mother to our mother earth ravages and destroys it relentlessly and yeah It just gets everyone to conceptualize that it's just here to serve us. Who cares? Really pay attention to the ones who never talk about that. They always try to divert their questioning, their line of questioning, their projections never looking at the root of the entire problem and that is the root so i wanted to bring that point up that yeah the classroom has gone dark and my approach obviously in a dark classroom which now there's no classroom even see that's the other consequence it didn't just go dark i lost the classroom i can't spend a bunch of time on my lessons as I was able to in the past. I took great, great pains and great care in putting together those works because I had the time and I had I had the the comfort, if you will, of of a classroom setting to be able to do that. I don't have that luxury, if you will, any longer. And never will again. So yeah, my approach and my message, even my voice, yeah, it sounds different. I mean, that's the consequence of getting very little sleep. Not being able to sleep very much. There's consequences to all this. So be it. It's a war, and I'm a warrior. The end. I do what I must. That's what the heart does. The heart does what's necessary. When it's necessary. So that's been disturbing to a lot of you. And finally it's noticeable. The subscriber count on the channel is going way down. Way down. Just so many are just dropping off like flies. Just the weight, the weight of the street message already is getting to be too much. As I said, the full weight is coming. We've barely even started, barely even put any of the pressure of that weight on yet. And the other thing too, I'm not going to apologize for shaking awake those who still are asleep, which is everyone really. I'm not going to apologize for that. I'm going to do everything I can to actually wake every single last individual up. And you have to do a lot of shaking. That's just the fact. And it's not going to be comfortable. It's not going to be just all comfortable and rosy and, oh, it's time to wake up now. When the inferno is rushing towards you, 
rushing towards anyone. You can't take a gentle approach anymore. I don't know why this isn't being understood. The gentle approach, we had time before, and I was utilizing that. That's how I taught. That's how my heart really is. I am gentle. But in a different situation, which is what this is, we we are at the crux, the crossroads. The alarm needs to be sounded. That alarm isn't going to be gentle. It's not going to be zenned out, as I said. Everyone wants to just lay down and relax in a war. It just doesn't make any sense at all. I just can't even comprehend it. No one can call themselves a truther that sees the war happening all around them and think that they could just be lazy. Just couch themselves in and not worry about changing their own approach. Literally shaking themselves awake. How many are even attempting to do that? Shake yourself awake. Yeah, if you, if a lot of you are pissed off at me, so be it. You think I'm concerned about that? I'd rather you wake up and be pissed off at me. I would much rather that. At least you're awake then. And finally, finally you're seeing what really is going on and where you really are. Go ahead. Be absolutely as angry as you want at me. I don't care. All these other truthers building their truth empires, so scared. They're so terrified of losing one person for a potential book sale or whatever the hell. They're not worried about shaking you awake. They don't want to offend anyone. So it's always just the gentle, soft touch. We're dealing with evil. Straight up evil as evil as evil gets. And you think my approach is just going to be gentle and soft. The classroom's gone dark. And I don't even have a classroom anymore. So no, it's not going to be just subtle and gentle. I'm going to be shaking a lot. If it disturbs you, so be it. So be it. That's going to shake things up inside of you. It's going to stir things up. And in that stirring, it's going to shake off all the shackles at the same time. Hopefully, that's that's the hope. Shackled by so much, the vision just show, so enshrouded, so clouded over. I'm not concerned about subscribers and fame and all that other bullshit. Not building a truth empire here. Not monetizing any of this shit. I'm not selling anything. It's always been the same message. My approach in that way has never changed and never will. Everything done freely. That's the way the truth does things. Freely. And just think, when you get up and you're tired, yeah, you get angry. Right? Say you have... You know, a small child or a pet, you know, wakes you up and you get all grumbly. Why'd you wake me up? (laughs) It's like that. That's why, you know, a lot of people are angry when they're shaken awake. But this is a different kind of being awake. Far different. So, yeah, your anger is, is going to be roiled up way more. Way, way, way more. You think I'm concerned about that. You think that I'm trying to prop myself up so that what this YouTube channel is going to be around in five or ten years. And oh, I'm just so concerned about keeping my subscriber count up and how many views did the next video get. I could give a shit. 
I don't give a damn about any of that. As I said, I have a limited amount of time left to utilize these tools. So I'm going to utilize them. And then once I walk away from them, that's it. I'll leave the channel up. I won't just take it down. But there's not going to be a heart running it anymore. So the artificial construct's going to know that, obviously. And it very well might just take it down. It might just tear it down and then that's that. Because it sees it as another potential threat in the future of what's to come. It won't be me doing that. And as I say, when I walk away, when I actually go on the walk and start it, not carrying a phone, not going to have access to the internet, it's done. I notice it's so funny. Some some commenters, some abusive commenters just saying, Oh, you're a hypocrite. You're using the system still. You're using the internet. You're using the tools. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. That's exactly how an abuser talks. So it's like someone's in prison and that prisoner needs to eat. And so he gets his three meals a day. And the abuser says, you're a hypocrite. You're you're eating the prison f- food to survive. You're just a hypocrite. <laughs> what a joke. Like, what a joke. I'm literally imprisoned like everyone else here. And I'm utilizing these tools to get a message out, which is against the system. You're damn right I'm going to do that. There's nothing hypocritical about that whatsoever that's an abuser just trying to manipulate and stir the pot again there's so many now i don't even yeah for the most part i don't give a shit about the comment section uh, at all it's the only reason it's important is to try to reach real hearts that's it just who out there is still real legitimately who has an aura of light of the heart out there there's just way too many androids now it's as i said you know we uh we of the truth we are in the vast minority that's just all there is to it Uh, there's no denying that it's it's not something to be depressed about it's just the fact so at least we can face that fact and then move forward on the correct course still So I'll just uh, I'll just be honest. My voice isn't doing the best today. Um, I uh, I'm not going to talk for too long on this message, um, but I wanted to get those few things out there. I reiterate: the classroom is dark, and a dark well, no classroom is is a far different thing. Obviously, everything has to change. In terms of the teachings, if you will. These are street teachings. That's how the message is going to continue to be brought forth. It's it's not going to be clean cut. I'm not going to have a bunch of preparation of the lesson going on. I'm going to have the most important parts of the moment to give. And I'm going to give that lesson in the best way that I can raw it's raw and real war is raw right so yeah that's 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 what I have for today uh, again I know this is a little bit shorter but uh I'll have more soon, hopefully even tomorrow. All right. Everyone take care out there. Talk to you again.